Snowmageddon 2020. Here's a lot update, the first one of this year. So we probably got about six to eight inches of snow all together all weekend and I've got to clean my car off so I can get to work. No matter what age you are, that never gets old. So lucky for us, we we're able to get at least five vehicles inside the shop so that we don't have to clean them off. And normally what we like to do is we like to get as many SUVs as possible. Why? Well, because they're taller and they got roof racks and they're just harder to clean the snow off of. But as we come out back here, luckily for us one more time, We've only got about 20 cars this time of year. So we're gonna have to get these all cleaned off. Once we get the yard all plowed up, we're now gonna have to get all these cleaned off, parked back out front, and then we can finish cleaning the snow off of this part of the driveway. So once we get that done, we'll give a walk around the lot and let you know what's new and what might be changed. Well, I tell you what, that's really sucky. There's more snow here than I thought. I'm gonna have to go get my uh, my big winter boots and uh, get this uh, finished up. But when the wind is blowing around you and you scrape that snow off and it's light fluffy stuff, it's right back in your face. I love my job. So it is later on in the afternoon and we've got all the cars back out on the lot and all lined up as good as normal. So as far as some of the new vehicles in the lot, since the last time I did a lot update, which would have been back in like late November, uh, there's not a whole lot new. We haven't been doing a whole lot of buying, uh, but we do have a couple pieces. Let me show them to you. We've got this uh, 2017 Hyundai Elantra. Now this is a pretty fancy model. It's got the wheels and the fog lights and all the goodies on the inside, including backup camera, heated seats, all that stuff. And the one beside it is a 2015 Mazda 3. Now this is just an entry level, but it is loaded up with all your power windows, door locks, cruise control I believe, as well as air conditioning. And as far as SUVs go, we don't have anything new to report over here. Now as far as things leaving, we've got a few pieces that are getting ready to go out. Now these three units right here, the 15 Santa Fe, the 14 Ford Escape, and the 15 Ford Escape are all old inventory. These are just pieces that we've been sitting on. Except for this one here, we did take it on trade and put it up on the auction block as a pre-sale, which we sold. And uh, so these are all ready sold. They're going out as soon as the transport company comes and picks them up. And they will be going and we'll invest that money back into some vehicles that will sell. 
The Chrysler 300 is something that's been on the lot here for quite a while, and we just set it aside because it did need a little bit of tinkering. Uh, it's a good car. It is a little bit rusty, as I've said in previous videos, but it's only got 150,000 kilometers, which is less than 100,000 miles. Uh, the tires are fair, and we had to fix a few little things. There were some lights on the dash, ABS, and traction control. Uh, so we did get those fixed up because it was fairly uh, reasonable cost to do so. So this will be going to the auction as well. The Acadia is something we took on trade for the 09 Silverado that we had here back a while ago. And when it came in, it needed some love. The guy parked it and it wouldn't even start again. So the battery was bad. It wouldn't hold coolant. Literally a $5 T in the heater hose fixed that. And it also had a couple of other issues which we have fixed up to the point where this thing now passes inspection but because it's an 07, because it's got 218,000 kilometers, it's just not something that we want to be selling on the lot. So we will be shipping this off to the auction. Really nice rig though. Uh, leather seats, third row, all the goodies, bells and whistles, including heads up display. This now passes inspection and uh, we'll be heading off to the auction, hopefully uh, to get some money back on that as well. And then we've got grandma who is my daily. Uh, you guys all know grandma and uh, it's just uh, sitting there looking sad with all the salt and snow hanging off of it. But it's a great working car. A lot of people don't like to drive a rear wheel drive car in the winter time, uh, but I haven't had any issues with it as of yet. It's not gotten me stuck. Uh, the traction control works very well. And when you turn it off, as you saw earlier in this video, uh, you can actually have a lot of fun with it. So. Uh, I know some of you guys were looking for lot updates, and so there it is. There's not a whole lot going on, especially this time of year. Things are generally pretty quiet, so uh, that is going to be it for now. And I'm going to start doing the lot updates probably once a month, uh, near the end of the month, and then that way you guys can kind of keep up with some of the things that are going for those of you who are still interested. So I'm going to go back inside where it's nice and warm, and we'll close out this video. So as I head home to plow out my own driveway, before my wife gets home from work. Tonight's episode of the Car Guy and Six Fans show will be hosted on Straight Six Fans channel. And that is up here in the link, as well as there's a link in the description box down below. We've got Pusa Studios joining us tonight. It's a husband and wife team that basically helps YouTube channels grow and learn what needs to be learned to be a YouTube channel. So if you've got a YouTube channel, whether it's car related or not, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show on Thursday evening at seven o'clock Central, eight o'clock Eastern, should be able to help you out this week with a little bit of tips and tricks from Pusta Studios. Also, Old Car Auto Guy merch is available. It is the first link in the description box below. I hope you can go down there, uh, pick up some merch, some t-shirts and uh, hoodies and whatnot to help support my channel so we can continue doing projects like Project Dale. As always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror, guys. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.